Please be seated. Good evening. I am Beate Schmidtmann, Dean of the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences at Iowa State University. It is a great pleasure to join with faculty, friends, and families in celebrating this important day for our students. I welcome you as we recognize candidates for undergraduate degrees in the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. At this time, Jenna Sanquist, a graduating senior in music from Osceola, Iowa, will lead us in the singing of the national anthem. Jacob Metzler, a senior in music from Solon, Iowa, is providing accompaniment this evening. Please stand as you are able. Thank you, Jenna and Jacob, and please be seated again. To our students, we are so proud to honor you today. This is a moment to enjoy and to remember. We've had you in our care for just a short time, that yet there are people here tonight who have been with you for a lifetime. For each of you, there is a story of support and sacrifice of parents, friends, siblings, significant others, grandparents, and teachers who helped you along the way. This is their moment, too. I also want to thank the extraordinary faculty of the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. Seated on stage behind me are department chairs or their representatives. Their passion for education and innovation helps inspire our students, and I thank them for helping our students reach this important milestone in their lives. In a few moments, I will introduce our student speaker. First though, I would like to visit for a moment with our candidates. It is a College of Liberal Arts and Sciences tradition to provide a medallion to each student here this evening. I know you all have many memories from your time at Iowa State. We want to send you on your way with one more memento to celebrate your academic achievements and your adventure here at Iowa State. Right now, I ask each of you to take hold of your medallion and read the three words on it. Invent, discover, remember. These three words encompass what a degree in liberal arts and sciences means today. All of you will invent, discover, and remember in one way or another. 
You will invent. You will be innovators and leaders. Your creativity will address society's biggest challenges. You may even reinvent yourselves a few times over the course of your professional careers. Discover. Some of you will discover new scientific frontiers or discover new meaning through culture and the arts. Some of you will help others discover their potential as you serve with passion in professions of education, counsel, or public service. Remember who you are and the experiences that have shaped you. Your culture, your family, your friendships, your time as a cyclone. Your unique perspective is a gift that you bring to the world and which the world needs. As the world continues its rapid pace of change, I challenge you to make those changes positive ones, to help others understand the world as it is and also imagine how it could be. You are now equipped with a college education. You have the cultural awareness and scientific knowledge to help address such global challenges as feeding the world, fighting disease, or resolving conflicts. Your response to these challenges matters, and you can make a difference. As a liberal arts and sciences graduate, you know how to solve problems because you know how to think critically and communicate effectively. These abilities are essential in our world today. Many of you have learned to work with state-of-the-art technology. You can work with people who may not share your background or beliefs, and yet find common good, common ground for the common good. All of these skills will serve you well in making a living and also in living a life. You are ready for the next step whether it is graduate or professional school, military service, or your first professional job. We are so excited to watch you from afar. We want to know about you before you become famous, so please do come back and see us and bring us stories when you do. Whatever the future holds, you will always have a home with the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences and Iowa State University. I will now introduce our student speaker. I want to be particularly mindful tonight that some of our graduating students will be receiving their commissions tomorrow. I would like to recognize Major Sean Rayleigh, Lieutenant Colonel William McTernan, and Captain Scott Curtis, who are with us on stage representing Iowa State's three ROTC units that are part of the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. We are glad to have these leaders here tonight to celebrate the academic achievements of their students, including tonight's speaker. I would like to thank them for all they do for our students, for Iowa State, and for their service to the nation with a round of applause. Tonight's speaker, Connor Schuler, a graduating senior in history and political science, is from Coralville, Iowa. He will represent the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences as our student marshal at tomorrow's commencement ceremony. Connor is a Marine Option Midshipman in Iowa State University's Naval Reserve Officer Training Corps which prepares college graduates to assume the highest levels of command as commissioned military officers. Connor is graduating magna cum laude with dual degrees in history and political science and minors in military studies and religious studies. He's a member of the Phi Beta Kappa Honor Society. While at Iowa State, Connor served as Navy ROTC Battalion Commander, a position assigned to the finest individual in the Navy ROTC program. He is a 2018 Iowa Governor's Cup recipient, an award given to Iowa's best future military officers, and he is also Iowa State's 2018 Marine Corps Honor Graduate, 
an honor reserved for the top performing graduate in academics, leadership, and physical performance. As a leader with an exceptional commitment to service and academic excellence, Connor has been awarded a highly competitive Anna Sobol Levy Foundation Fellowship and will attend a graduate studies program at the Interdisciplinary Center Herzliya in Israel. Following this program, Connor will be commissioned as a second lieutenant in the United States Marine Corps, representing Iowa State University and the United States around the world. Please join me in welcoming Connor Schuler to the podium as your student speaker. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Every day that I went to class, I was consistently impressed by the intelligence of my peers and my own relative lack of knowledge. So I'm deeply humbled and greatly honored to have been selected to speak before you all today. Before drafting this speech, I was encouraged to actually say something in these few minutes. And uh, I decided I could make no claims, any enlightened knowledge, and um, make no assumptions to tell you how you should live your lives. It's ultimately up to you all to figure that out. But what I will do briefly is encourage you all to think about a few things as our undergraduate careers here come to a close. First of all, I trust that you all understand the value of your degree from one of the 22 academic departments represented here tonight. So I won't tell you why your education is valuable or why Iowa State is as great as it is. I trust you've come to some appreciation of that in your years here. Speaking for myself, I know the lessons and knowledge I gained here profoundly shape the way I see and think about the world. While here, significant changes have occurred in my life for the better, and I've been given opportunities that I never thought possible before. From my time competing in events through the Naval Reserve Officer Training Corps program, running some marathons, and completing other endurance events, I learned the importance of getting out of your comfort zone and pushing the boundaries of what's possible. I've heard uh, this referred to as type two fun, uh, that is activities that are not fun while you're doing them at all and usually feel like suffering, but after the fact, you realize that they're enriching and fulfilling. This is opposed to type one fun, which is just fun in the moment. I found that the times we get out of our comfort zone, push a little farther than normal, and pay the price for our ambition are the times that give us the stories we tell over and over again and lead to the experiences that separate themselves in our memory. It's from these events and pushing the envelope that you figure out who you really are and in reflection come to realize that when we challenge ourselves, we are often capable of much more than we thought possible. And that's part of what makes for a good life and a life where we can have the most impact on others. As we come to the conclusion of our undergraduate careers here, I would simply like to encourage you all to look back on your years as an Iowa State student and think about a few things. What would you change and what would you do the same? What skills and knowledge do you now have and what do you wish you had acquired? What do you wish you had done and what do you wish you hadn't done? I think that we'll all have answers for all of those questions. Of course, we can't change the past, but we can draw some lessons from it to help direct our futures. And I think that those lessons can teach each of us what's going to be best for us going forward, but even more importantly, what we are able to do for those around us. The mission of the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences is to educate future leaders and citizens with a global perspective, conduct research and scholarship of international significance, and share our knowledge to benefit Iowa, the nation, and the world. Whatever you are doing, be it going on a more schooling, working at a job, searching for a job, or the countless other things, I would encourage you all to reflect on your time here and think about how you can act on the lessons, knowledge, and experience you gained at Iowa State to continue to better yourselves and maybe even the world around you. Class of 2018, thank you, and go State. Thank you, Connor. My name is Kent Kirby, and I'm an assistant dean in the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. Before we begin our presentation of each College of Liberal Arts and Science candidate, I want to share some information and also highlight some students who have earned particular academic distinction 
on their path toward graduation. First, as Dean Schmidtman stated earlier, you will always have a home here at Iowa State. We want to help you as you transition into your career. In our program, you will find information on for LAS Career Services. Remember that our Career Services office will continue to be available to all of you as alumni. The Sci Higher website, Sci Higher website, also continues to be a re free resource to you. Also in your program, we have listed the students who are graduating with grade point averages in the top 2%. Members of Phi Beta Kappa are also indicated. This prestigious honorary society, founded in 1776, recognizes the top liberal arts and sciences students from colleges and universities in every part of the United States. Students have completed all the rigorous requirements for the LAS Honors Program are also identified in your program. In addition, students who will graduate with distinction are noted. These students entered their final term with a cumulative grade point average of 3.5 or higher and will forever hold the honor of graduating cum laude, magna cum laude, or summa cum laude. Let's recognize all these academic achievements with a round of applause. Thank you and congratulations to all of you. We know all of our students have worked hard and persevered to reach this moment, and we are incredibly proud of each of you. We will now begin the presentation of the candidates, Professor Jane Cox from the theater program and Professor Donald Simonson from the music program will be presenting the candidates for graduation. Students will be recognized by major. As their names are read, students will be greeted on stage by Dean Schmidtman and by the department chair or representative. This is a moment worthy of celebration. If you would like to give a shout out or applaud as your student walks across the stage, please feel free to do so. Let us begin. These are students in advertising. Uh, we'll be greeted by Angela Powers from the Greenlee School of Journalism and Communication. First, Madeline Nicole Decker. Anna E. Frome. Anna would like to thank her family for supporting her. McLean Gill. McLean's future plans are to pursue a career in advertising. Connor Terrence Keeman. Connor would like to thank his family, Perry Golf and Country Club, and anyone who's helped along the way. Jessica Klein. Jessica would like to thank her family and her friends for the love and support during her journey at ISU. Claudia Nguyen. Claudia would like to thank her family and friends for supporting her through her undergraduate career. Cassandra Quinnert. Cassandra would like to thank her amazing parents for always supporting her and being her number one fans. Sarah Nicole Schuster. Sarah is from Johnston, Iowa. Morgan Thompson. Morgan would like to thank her family and friends for being an incredible support system through it all. Christy Tran. Christy would like to thank her loved ones for their constant support and encouragement. Kelly Grace Wallace. Kelly would like to thank Mark and Fran Wallace for guiding her through the past four years at college. Now for the majors in anthropology. Greeted by Chad Gaste, Department of World Languages and Cultures. 
Daniel Dalmas. Daniel will be attending graduate school at Iowa State University. Savannah Michelle Falter. Savannah would like to thank her family and friends for their support. She loves you all. Jessica Flesh. Jessica's favorite ISU mem memory is running through the flooded streets of Greekland after a rainstorm. Rachel Don Kaparshuk. Rachel would like to thank her parents, George and Kathy, for always encouraging and supporting her. Emily Randall. <laughs> Emily would like to thank her parents for all their support over the last four years. Now for the major biochemistry. The students will be greeted by Kristen Johansson, Department of Biochemistry, Biophysics, and Molecular Biology. Kevin Kordick. Kevin's favorite ISU memory is celebrating the Cubs World Series win in the streets of Ames. Daniel Ba Wing. Daniel would like to thank his friends, family, and the ISU faculty who helped get him where he is today. And now students from the major of biological pre-medical illustration. These students will be greeted by James Colbert, the Department of Ecology, Evolution, and Organismal Biology. Jennifer Joy Zernick. Jennifer will complete an internship at NASA and would like to thank her parents. And now for students with a major in biology. Again, James Colbert from the Department of Ecology, Evolution, and Organismal Biology will greet the students. Haley Bishop. Haley is from Emmitsburg, Iowa. Zachary M. Brennick. Zachary has accepted a position with the City of Boulder, Colorado Public Works. Lindsey Brown. Lindsay has accepted a position with the University of Minnesota, leading a project on water conservation. Alex P. Hashemi Toragro. Alex would like to thank his family for all of the good times through the past four years. Callista Kaneki. Callista's future plans are to become a DNA forensic technician in the state of Illinois. Teresa Joy Krempel. Teresa would like to thank God and her friends and family for their love and support. William Marks. William would like to thank his family and friends for all of the unconditional love and support. Caitlin Marie Murphy. <laughs> Caitlin would like to thank those that encouraged her, those that challenged her, and those that did both. Christina Marie Santana. Maldonado. Christina would like to thank her parents for supporting her in her decision to come to ISU for her undergraduate degree. Taylor Ruth Schumacher. Taylor would like to thank her family and friends for their constant support and encouragement. Natalie Vance. Natalie's favorite ISU memory is getting into late night shenanigans with Jen and Heidi. Just wait a second. Okay. Andrew Spishikoff. Andrew's favorite course at ISU was Developmental Biology Lab. Now for the major of bioinformatics and computational biology. Uh, they'll be greeted by James Colbert, Department of Ecology, Evolution, and Organismal Biology. Uh, Rachel Adrian Sharp Wolf. Rachel will be attending graduate school at the University of Georgia in the Integrated Plant Sciences program. Now for students with a major in chemistry. These students will be greeted by Emily Smith from the Department of Chemistry. Amira Fatiha Adib Ahmad Bazil. Amira would like to thank her parents and her friends who have always been supportive of her. Caroline Rose Buckholz. 
Caroline will be attending graduate school at the University of Minnesota for a PhD in medicinal chemistry. Jenny Hewlett. Jenny would like to thank everyone who believed in her and for all the support throughout the years. Brigitte Joanne Holmes. Brigitte's favorite ISU memory is working as one of the peer mentors for the chemistry learning community. Grace Lutowski. Grace will be attending graduate school at the University of Wisconsin-Madison for a PhD in organic chemistry. Melanie Stoss. Melanie's future plans are to attend the University of Iowa for their dental program. And now for students with a major in communication studies. Tina Koffelt from the Department of English will greet these students. Rhett Allen. Rhett will be attending graduate school at Auburn University. Carson Elizabeth Blackman. <laughs> Carson would like to thank her friends and family, especially her parents, for their support and encouragement. Bo Wilson Brammer. Bo has accepted a position with Jackson National Life Insurance Company in Nashville, Tennessee. Kayla Jean Curtis. Kayla would like to thank her family and friends for their endless support and motivation. Maida Fatik. Maida would like to thank her family and friends for supporting her through her years at ISU. Stephanie E. Filkins. Stephanie's future plans are to work for a local nonprofit in Missoula, Montana. Mitchell Gansley. M Mitchell would like to thank his mom and dad for always believing in him and pushing him to succeed. Jared Jess Gonerman. Jared would like to thank his family and friends. Sarah Heller. Sarah would like to thank her sisters for being her role models and her dad for always supporting her. Lucy Jo Holmes. L Lucy has accepted a position with Prevent Child Abuse Iowa as a program manager for Connections Matter. Madeline Ilton. Madeline would like to thank her parents for their endless love and support throughout her collegiate career. Mackenzie Lynn Kellogg. Mackenzie would like to thank her professors and family for all their support. Kelly Corin. <laughs> Kelly's future plans are moving to Chicago, Illinois to work for Kin Insurance. Catherine Brianna Lagambina. Catherine would like to thank her parents for their endless love and support. Ontara T. Love. Ontara's favorite ISU memory is being an Iowa State cheerleader and meeting her husband. Nicholas Robert Nelson. Nicholas has accepted a position with the Missoula Osprey baseball team. Colton Newharth. Colton would like to thank his family for always supporting him. Michael Thomas Peterson. Michael's future plans are to find fulfillment while being a contributing member to society. Tyler Robert Peterson. Tyler would like to thank the Beatles song, All the World is a Birthday Cake, so take a piece, but not too much. Trevor Scott Rao. Trevor would like to thank his mother, who thought this day would never come. Carly Marie Rinken. Carly would like to thank her mom, dad, and her daughter Zoe. Thank you for loving and supporting her. She did it. Whitney Marie Shoot. Whitney would like to thank Mary Kay, Scott, Brad, and her parents. She could not have done it without you. Elizabeth Settles. Elizabeth's favorite ISU memory is meeting extended family on a study abroad trip and meeting Gloria Steinem at ISU. Bailey Sue Stone. Bailey would like to thank her parents for giving her the world. Danny Trom. Danielle has accepted a position with First Data 
as a sales associate in their Atlanta office. Tyler Joseph Zerbonia. <laughs> Tyler would like to thank Matthew McConaughey. Now for the students with a major in computer science. Lou Ruan from the Department of Computer Science will greet the students. Riley John Bird. Riley has accepted a position with Cerner. Joshua James Brenneman. Joshua would like to thank his family and friends for all of their support over the past four years. Tyler Bybee. Tyler has accepted a position with Zerus in Des Moines. Keegan Campbell Dom. Keegan has accepted a position with Microsoft. Akshaya Garg. Akshaya will be attending graduate school at Georgia Tech for a master's in computer science. Adam Benjamin Heimendinger. Adam's favorite high school memory is all the late nights spending coding with friends and insomnia cookies. Tyler Helmrich. Tyler would like to thank his family and friends for all their support and his dad for his mindset. Devin Lyle Johnson. Devin has accepted a position with Rain and Hail, an agricultural insurance company, as a software developer. Jeffrey Judge. Jeffrey is from Yorktown, Indiana. Matthew Thomas Kenninger. Matthew would like to thank his family for always being there for him whenever he needs them. Chase Kohler. Chase has accepted a position with Epic Medical Systems in Madison, Wisconsin. Zachary Thomas Monahan. Zachary will be attending graduate school at Iowa State University's Colleges of Business and Engineering. Jeff Olson. Jeffrey has accepted a position with TMC Transportation as a software developer. Akil Reddy Sanjan. Akil's favorite ISU memory is celebrating his junior year with his brothers. Aiden Sayo. Aiden has accepted a a position at NetSpy. Adam M. Sherson. Adam would like to thank his mom and dad for their tireless support. Nathan Waskell. Nathan would like to thank his family for their support throughout his collegiate experience. Now for the majors in criminal justice, they'll be greeted by Leanna Bofford, Department of Sociology. Bobby D. Bankston. Bobby's future plans are to be a voice for those who cannot be heard. Shay Bartasek. Shay's favorite ISU memory is having met so many new people and making friends from all over the world. Rosita Arley Victoriano Casino. She would like to thank her sorority sisters, friends, and most of all, her family. Madeline Cavana. Madeline would like to thank her parents for supporting her and always believing in her. Ryan Charles Cotani. Ryan would like to thank his parents, grandparents, and family for their love and support. Nathan Hall. Nathan has accepted a position with Youth and Shelter Services. Daniel Ray Jekyll. Daniel would like to thank his mother for helping and supporting him through this journey. Alexander Jones. Alexander's future plans are to start his career in the Navy. Michael D. Keltenhauser. Michael is from Elkhart, Iowa, May the fourth be with you. Olivia Lucas. Olivia would like to thank her family and friends for pushing her and helping her achieve her goals. Connor Nathaniel Olson. Connor would like to thank his family for always being there for him. Alma Griselda Reyes Ramirez. 
Alma Griselda would like to thank her parents for their unconditional support and encouragement. Caitlin Alexandra Rich. Caitlin would like to thank her family for the continued support and encouragement. Alex Sadler. Alex would like to thank her family for being the best support system. Sasha Elizabeth Stinson. <laughs> Sasha would like to thank her family, coaches, and staff for all of the support over the years. Justin Two. Justin's favorite course at ISU was any course Dr. DeLisi was teaching. Now for the major in Earth Science. The students will be greeted by Elizabeth Swanner, Department of Geological and Atmospheric Sciences. Christopher Patrick Peden. Christopher is from Ottumwa, Iowa. Now for the students with a major in economics. The students will be greeted by Joydeep Bhattachara from the Department of Economics. Angela Buddha Magar. Angela would like to thank her family for loving, supporting, and making this possible for her. Christian Kraft. Christian would like to thank each member of his family for their support, given in many forms. Okay. Benjamin Mark Dirks. Benjamin's favorite ISU memory is his years in the Akasha fraternity. Charity Eti Edo Elijah. Charity's favorite ISU memory is being a member of the first Iowa State International Collegiate Business Strategy Competition team and placing second. Jacob Gerlach. Jacob would like to thank all four of his parents. Brennan Wade Goodman. His future plans are to finish his his future plans are to finish his application to ISU's College of Veterinary Medicine this fall. Austin W. Grant. Austin would like to thank his parents for the endless support received over the past four years. Connor Christine Harris. Connor would like to thank her two hardworking parents, Jason and Aaron Harris. Benito. KNJ Katem. Benito's future plans are interning in London this summer and then heading back to Paris for his masters. Garayan Kang. Garayan would like to thank God, her parents, and her surroundings who supported her. Brandon Lockhart. Brandon is from Council Bluffs, Iowa. Stephen James Soko. Stephen's future plans are attending Iowa Law School. Wyatt Tournier. Wyatt's future plans are to relax and go on vacation. <laughs> Lauren Elizabeth Weinert. Lauren's future plans are attending law school after wa working in Washington, D.C. for a year. Christian Willis. Christian would like to thank his parents. Mohammed Zahin Infran Zokari. Mohammed Zinhan's favorite ISU memory is that he got to meet a lot of new people, got a part time job, and learned a lot. Mohammed Zahin Israd Zulkari. Mohammed Zain would like to thank his advisor for everything that he has done for him for the past three years. Mohammed Asfar uh, Azmi. Mohammed Asfar is from Bangi, Malaysia. Shuhiru Nordin. Shuhiru Amira would like to thank her parents, family, professors, and friends for supporting her from day one. And for the major in English, the uh, students will be greeted by Donna Nadei, the Department of English. Mackenzie Page Burt. Her future plans are to teach the seventh grade at Berg Middle School in Newton, Iowa. Nick Gabler. 
Nick's future plans are to study in China for the next year. Megan Jackson. Megan's future plans are to continue publishing original prose and poetry and eventually novels. Eric Johnson. Eric would like to thank his parents whose humble and grace-filled spirits have shaped who he is. Gazika Illa Ellen Masick. Gazella would like to thank her family for always being there to support her through the turbulent times. Rachel Reyes. Rachel's favorite course at ISU was Honors 322A, Comedy College. <laughs> Brianna Lee Riley. Brianna would like to thank her family for always encouraging and supporting her. She loves you. Emma Schwarzbach. Emma would like to thank her mom and dad. Your support means everything to her, so this is for you. Now for the majors in environmental science. They will be greeted by James Colbert, Department of Ecology, Evolution, and Organismal Biology. Catherine Elizabeth Beamy. Catherine has accepted a position with the Montana Conservation Corps as a watershed conservation intern. Catherine Holmes. Catherine would like to thank her family for their constant encouragement for the past four years. And the major in genetics. The students will be greeted by Joanne Powell Kaufman, Department of Genetics, Development, and Cell Biology. Alyssa Ann Kelsey. Alyssa would like to thank her family for their unconditional support of anything she sets her mind to. <laughs> Colin Finnegan. Colin's future plans are to do research in synthetic biology. Go, Kaylee Amanda Plant. Kaylee has accepted a position with Neogen Corporation uh, Gene Seek Operations in Lincoln, Nebraska. Andrew Schwader. Andrew's favorite ISU memory is playing music and meeting his friends in the Iowa State University Cyclone Football Varsity Marching Band. Sheridan Lilu Schwartz. Sheridan would like to thank the faculty for the fantastic leadership opportunities they provided. Jada Spindler. Jada would like to thank her mom, dad, and sister for their endless support over the last four years. Nathan Allen Snyder. Nathan's favorite ISU memory is going to this wonderful place and exploring his horizons. Sanika Tukral. Sanika would like to thank her parents for their endless support of her dreams. And the, the major in geology, the students will be greeted by Elizabeth Swanner, Department of Geological and Atmospheric Sciences. Amal Hazuri Asnan Hanif. Amal would like to thank her supportive family and her geology professors. She hopes you are proud of her. Jay Karani. Jay would like to thank all his wonderful professors, family, and friends for their full support. Rebecca M. Rem. Rebecca's favorite ISU memory is hiking every day with classmates during the ISU geology field camp. And now for the students graduating with a major in history. These students will be greeted by Simon Cordery, the Department of History. Frank Haynes. Frank would like to thank his parents and his favorite professor, Dr. Walters. Benjamin Charles Hansen. Benjamin would like to thank his mom, Sarah. Mara Keeley. Mara would like to thank her parents, John and Jody, and her grandparents for their unending support. Delaney Ann Kelly. Delaney would like to thank her mother and father for supporting her in everything she does. Connor Schuler. Connor's future plans are commissioning as an officer in the Marine Corps after graduate school. Shaylee Nicole Stortz. Shaylee would like to thank her friends and family for their support 
and their support yet to come. Madison Vandenberg. Madison's favorite ISU memory is attending the 2018 Liberty Bowl. Nicholas Murray Wyman. Nicholas's future plans are sharing his passion for learning with middle school students. Victoria Yeager. Victoria's future plans are continuing learning in the field of history. And now the major of interdisciplinary studies. The fa uh, faculty member greeting the students is Sebastian Brown, Department of World Languages and Cultures. Grace E. Mileage. Grace has accepted a position with a children's home in Uganda, Africa. Now for the students graduating with a major in interdisciplinary studies, classical. These students will be greeted by Arn Hallam, the Associate Dean in the College of Liberal, Art, Liberal Arts and Sciences. Courtney Chartier. Courtney will be attending graduate school at Sapienza University di Roma for Architecture Conservation. Journalism and Mass Communication. This major uh, students will be greeted by Angela Powers, Greenlee School of Journalism and Communication. Emily Marie Benda. Emily would like to thank her parents, siblings, friends, mentors, and teachers for supporting her. Xavier Gaumer. Xavier would like to thank his amazing family. Without them, he can confidently say he would not be here. Lindsay Greifzu. Lindsay's future plans are to pursue a career in nonprofit communications. Jaleel Chandler. Jaleel's future plans are to attend the University of California Berkeley School of Law. Rebecca Marie Harz. Rebecca would like to thank her family and best friend for continuous support and encouragement. Logan Kaler. Logan would like to thank his professors and advisors for all of their support. Marie Kathleen Kahn. Her future plans are traveling to India. Nicholas James LaFrenz. Nicholas's favorite ISU memory is spending Saturdays with the boys. <laughs> Jade Marie Mart. Jade's future plans are to move to Dubuque, Iowa and begin her career in human resources at Cunningham and Butler. Brian Mosey. Brian's future plans are working at Rivertown Multimedia in Minnesota as a high school sports writer. Sarah Ann Muller. Sarah would like to thank her parents and grandparents as well as the friends she has made at Iowa State. Natasha Novak. Natasha would like to thank her family for always supporting her dream of being a cyclone. Abigail Marie Patterson. Abigail would like to thank her parents for supporting her in every way through her years at Iowa State. Parker Kelly Reed. Parker's favorite ISU memory is late nights at the Iowa State Daily with Michelle Branch and Owl City. Megan Suzanne Salo. <laughs> Megan would like to thank Mark Witherspoon, Deb Gibson, and her parents for their help and support. Jamie Steyer. Jamie's future plans are pursuing her master's in strategic communication at the University of Iowa. Brooke Aaron Tesdall. Brooke would like to thank her parents, Doran and Re Renee, for all their loving support. Tyler Worsham. Tyler would like to thank his advisor, Jan Boyles, for her encouragement and many good conversations. Henry William Zimmerman. Henry would like to thank everyone who has supported him in any way during his journey to graduation. And now for students graduating with a major in liberal studies. These students will be greeted by Kent Kirby, Assistant Dean in the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. Allison Bailey. 
Allison's favorite course at ISU was Law of Mass Communication, Journalism and Mass Communication 460. Alexandra Lynn King. Alexandra would like to thank her family and friends who supported and encouraged her during her time here. Jesse Sanford. Jesse would like to thank his family and friends for being incredible. Now for the major in linguistics, the students will be greeted by Donna Day, Department of English. Emily Philos. Emily would like to thank 90s cartoons for the terrible wordplay that fed her language obsession. <laughs> now for students with a major in mathematics. These students will be greeted by Ryan Martin from the Department of Mathematics. Uh, Edel Aaron. Edel will be attending graduate school at Yale University for a PhD in computational biology and bioinformatics. Kelsey Ray Christensen. Kelsey would like to thank her mom, her sisters, and her grandparents for supporting her. Joseph Henkel. Joseph's favorite ISU memory is adding a math major without his parents knowing. Surprise, mom and dad. Renee Michelle Leon. Renee has accept, accepted a position with Union Pacific Railway in, in Omaha as a corporate auditor. Anastasia McCarty. Anastasia will be attending graduate school at Iowa State University. Daniel Craig Nida. Daniel would like to thank those who have supported him, his parents, his friends, family, and his fiance. Owen Pitt. Owen would like to thank his parents for helping him get to this point. He could not have done it alone. Rahul Sundar Rajan. Rahul would like to thank his advisors, Dawn and Alex. Tyler Weber. Tyler has accepted a position with Storm Lake St. Mary's as the high school math teacher. Timothy Aaron Wilkie. Timothy would like to thank his sister and parents for helping him pursue all his academic goals. And now students graduating with a major in meteorology. These students will be greeted by Bill Gutowski, professor of meteorology and associate dean in the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. Emily Ballman. Emily's favorite ISU memory is storm chasing with friends. Alec Brian Balvans. Alec is from Marshalltown, Iowa. Caitlin Servak. Caitlin's favorite course at ISU was mesoscale meteorology. Ian William Gazelle. Ian will be attending graduate school at the University of Oklahoma. Kelly Michelle Haberichter. Kelly would like to thank her family, friends, and teachers who helped her get here. Ashley Heath. Ashley's favorite ISU memory is making new friends and lasting friendships. Kyle Knight. Kyle's future plans are Fortnite, pizza, traveling, and a job. Joseph Ryan Crastell. Joseph would like to thank everyone who has joined him along this journey. Chase on. Emily Mars. Emily would like to thank her parents for always supporting her and pushing her to do her very best. Alonidra M. Matos Muriel. Atalina would like to thank all of those who have, get, who have played a part in her growth as a student and an individual. Lindsay Matthews. Lindsay will be attending graduate school at the University of Iowa in the Sustainable Water Development Program. Tyler Joseph Morrison. Tyler would like to thank his family and friends for their love and support throughout his time at ISU. David Newburn. 
David will be attending graduate school at Texas Tech University. Zane Kel Satri. Zane has accepted a position with WHBF TV in the Quad Cities as a broadcast meteorologist. Chadrick David Skyberg. Chadrick's future plans are continued service in the United States Navy as a naval officer. Jacob William Smith. Jacob's favorite course at ISU was mesoscale meteorology. Christopher Tracy. Christopher would like to thank all of his professors for guiding him throughout college. Now for the major in music. The students will be greeted by Christina Sveck, Angela Rose Ekema. Angela would like to thank her family, friends, and the Department of Music and Theater. Alec Geringer. Alec would like to thank his parents for their support and inspiring him to become a teacher. Marina Ann Elizabeth Hinkle. Marina would like to thank her husband and family for belief in her as both a scientist and a musician. Jasmine Mobley. Jasmine's favorite ISU memory is the geese smacking their beaks on her practice room window at Music Hall. <laughs> Brianna Nicole Pogue. Brianna has accepted a position with the Lutheran Church of Hope as worship leader intern. Kirsten Reinecke. Kirsten's future plans are to teach elementary music and beginning band at Pocahontas, Iowa. Jenna Elizabeth Sandquist. Jenna would like to thank her parents, grandparents, friends, professors, and Iowa State singers. Now for the students with a major in performing arts. These students will be greeted by Christina Sveck from the Department of Music and Theater. Rachel Henderson. Rachel's favorite ISU memory is stage managing at the 2018 Kennedy Center American College Theater Region 5 Festival. Michaela Marie Minnick. Michaela's future plans are unknown, but whatever she does, she hopes to spread knowledge, happiness, and love. Now for the students graduating with a major in philosophy. These students will be greeted by Hamir Gearson from the Department of Philosophy and Religious Studies. Ali Sawaf. Ali's favorite memory is, uh, or would like to thank his mom who came all the way from Egypt for this ceremony. Pretty good. And the physics majors and the students will be greeted by James Evans, Department of Physics and Astronomy. Renee Marie Alexander. Renee's favorite ISU memory is either making new friends or joining the Martial Arts Club. Michael Onischek. Michael will be attending graduate school at Princeton University studying experimental condensed matter physics. Alexander W. Criswell. Alexander would like to thank his friends and family for all the support and wonderful memories. Now for students graduating with a major in political science. Amy Erica Smith from the Department of Political Science will greet these students. Lemuel Anderson. Lemuel's favorite ISU memory is Destination Iowa State, where he met the homies. Haley Rose Bailey. Haley would like to thank everyone who has supported her through her adventures at Iowa State. Isaiah Baker. Isaiah would like to thank any and all legislators who chose to fund higher education in Iowa. Saria Ballard. She would, uh, her future plans are the cr continual pursuit of education in human society. Lee Davis. Lee is a proud resident from Mount Pleasant, Iowa. Patrick Ellis. Thank you. I'm sorry, Weston Patrick Ellis. Weston's future plans are to commission in the United States Air Force. Maria Freeman. 
Maria will be attending graduate school at Iowa State University, studying community and regional planning and public policy. Carolyn Rose Green. Carolyn would like to thank her parents for endless love and support. This was possible because of you. Kip Crable. Kip will be attending law school at the University of St. Thomas College of Law in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Jordan Christine Larson. Jordan will be attending graduate school at Newhouse School of Communications at Syracuse University. Tori Pavillard. Tori's future plans are seeking employment in the field of information technology sales. Sierra Jo Rold. Sierra's future plans are becoming the President of the United States. Rizal Uchal. Rizal would like to thank his family, friends, and educators for their support and guidance. Zoe Senny Whistler. Zoe's future plans are to work for a year with nonprofits and to apply to law schools for fall 2019. Now for students with a major of psychology. These students will be greeted by Monica Marcy from the Department of Psychology. Brianna Agi. Brianna's future plans are to pursue a career in public or global health. Demi Lynn Barnes. Demi would like to thank her wonderful family, friends, and advisor for being so supportive. Dariana Glasgow. Dariana will be attending graduate school at Iowa State for a Master's of Education degree with a student affairs focus. Jennifer Christine Demeter. Jennifer's favorite ISU memory is coming to know Jesus Christ through the Salt Company. Sabrina Dixon. Sabrina's future plans are attending law school at the University of Iowa. Samantha Michelle Eggy. Samantha will be attending graduate school at Illinois State University. Manuela Folhaber. Manuela has accepted a position with DuPont Pioneer as a UX researcher. She thanks her family and friends for their love and support. Miranda Jo Frederick. Miranda would like to thank her mom for giving her the world through her sacrifices, love, and support. Kimberly Ferguson. Kimberly's favorite ISU member was meeting all of the amazing people who have changed her life for the better. Haley J. Hearn. Haley's future plans are to attend law school at the University of Nebraska in the fall. Abigail Heen. Abigail will be attending graduate school at the University of Wisconsin Law School. Tyson Russell Harold. Tyson would like to thank his family for their support over the years. Luke Timothy Huburn. Luke will be attending graduate school at Iowa State for the master's PhD program in human development and family studies. Crystal Lee Jewell. Crystal will be attending graduate school at Iowa State University for the neuroscience PhD program. Corey Johnson. Corey's favorite ISU course was Brain and Behavior. Kelsey Lynn Manuel. Kelsey would like to thank her family and friends for all of their love and support. Danielle Moore. Danielle would like to thank her family, friends, and coffee for getting her to this point in life. Sydney Jean Musel. Sydney would like to thank her mom and dad. You have given her the greatest gift of all, an education. Sarah Nicole Nelson. Sarah will be attending graduate school at UNI to complete her master's degree in school counseling. Nicole Ray Page. Nicole's favorite ISU memory is being part of the Cyclone Marching Band. Kara Plesha. Kara's future plans are to attend graduate school and work back home. Jennifer Ponsolet. 
Jennifer will be attending medical school at the University of Iowa. Olivia Robertson. Olivia will be attending graduate school at Purdue University, pursuing a doctorate in human development. Farshad Seder. His future plans are to attend graduate school. Sahana Sai Narain. Sahana would like to thank her, like to thank ISU for giving her the opportunity to experience one of the best adventures. Lucas Wade Schuster. Lucas's future plans are to move back to Spain and work as a therapist. Kenneth Slagle. Kenneth will be attending graduate school at the Ohio State University. Alex Nicole Stewart. Alex would like to thank her parents, family, and boyfriend. She could not have done this without you. Kristen Nicole Tingley. Kristen would like to thank her wonderful family. Thanks for supporting her in all that she does. Joseph George Wagner. Joseph is from Elkader, Iowa. Emily Waskell. Emily would like to thank her mother, father, Maureen, and Josh. You kept her sane for the most part. Mackenzie Rose Weiss. Mackenzie would like to thank her family and friends for supporting her through her college years. Barbara Wilkie. Barbara would like to thank her parents for supporting her in all her aspirations. Caitlin Donnell Wistey. Caitlin would like to thank her family for their love and support. Julie Yoder. Julie would like to thank her grandparents, parents, husband, and children for supporting her dreams. And now the major in public relations. The students will be welcomed by Angela Powers, Greenlee School of Journalism and Communication. Brooke Elizabeth Almasi. Brooke will be attending graduate school at the University of Iowa College of Law with her wonderful family's support. Blair Bailey. Blair would like to thank her parents. She is so thankful for everything you've done for her. She loves you guys. Elizabeth Marie Clapier. Elizabeth's favorite ISU memory is cheering on the Cyclones as a member of the Iowa State cheer team. Jenna DeMarco. Jenna would like to thank her family for their continuous support throughout her four years. Anna Mackenzie Gentili. Anne's future plans are at the Disney College program. Alyssa Hill. Alyssa would like to thank her mom and dad for the time and love put into raising her. She can't wait to make you proud. Alicia Inez. Huerta. Alicia would like to thank Crystal, Jacob, Olivia, Teddy, mom and dad for giving her the courage to dream. Harrison Lagambina. Harrison would like to thank his family for their support and encouragement. Sydney Ann Logan. Sydney would like to thank her family for their continuous support in all that she does. Mariah McCall. Mariah has accepted a position with Meredith Corporation in Des Moines. Clarissa K. Price. Clarissa would like to thank her family and friends. You guys rock. And as always, go Cyclones. Britta Ropey. Britta would like to thank her mom, her sister, and the rest of her family for their constant support. Emily Sterney. Emily has accepted a position with the Harris School of Public Policy at the University of Chicago. Haley Young. Haley would like to thank her family for everything. And now for the students majoring in sociology. Uh, these students will be greeted by Liana Bofford, Department of Sociology. Carissa Lynn Best. Carissa would like to thank her family for their unwavering support of her and her dreams. 
Brian Carey. Brian would like to thank her father for his unwavering support and dedication through her education. Allison Nicole Hill. <laughs> Allison would like to thank her dad and mom for being able to provide her with this amazing opportunity. Christine Lawler. Christine would like to thank her family for always believing in her. Stephanie Ann Struthers. <laughs> Stephanie would like to thank her family and friends for their constant support. And now for students with a major in speech communication, these students will be greeted by Donna Nigay from the Department of English. Daniel Hedendorf. Daniel's favorite ISU memory is creating a dating sim based on Shakespeare's Othello. Madeline Celeste Hora. Madeline has accepted a position with ISU Extension and Outreach as the Mills County Youth Coordinator. Now for students with a major in statistics. These students will be greeted by Ulrika Genschel. Uh, Jingni Wang. Jingyi will be attending graduate school at DePaul University in Chicago, majoring in computer science. And the major in technical communication. Uh, these students will be greeted by Donna Nuday, Department of English. Brianna Alantra Reed. Brianna would like to thank her parents and her fiance, Tyler Bennett, for all of their love and support. And now for students with a major in Women's and Gender Studies. These students will be greeted by Leanna Bofard from the Department of Sociology. Angelina Powers. Angelina's favorite ISU memory is experiencing Hilton magic when we beat Iowa 83-82 and stormed the court. Cheyenne Dawn Sorensen. Cheyenne's favorite ISU memory is the 2016 study abroad trip to Stockholm, Sweden with Dr. Manning Olet. Now for students with a major in world languages and cultures, these students will be greeted by Chad Gasta from the Department of World Languages and Cultures. Jacob Riley Annan. Jacob would like to thank his family, friends, and professors for supporting him for the past four years. Erin Elizabeth Brandt. Erin would like to thank her parents for supporting her throughout this journey. Dakota Carpenter. Dakota will be attending graduate school at Iowa State University for a master's degree in student affairs and higher education. Brody Tyler Dingle. Brody will be attending graduate school at Iowa State University for a master's in applied